Well, hey, this is Alex. I'm back with another lock from that set of wonderfulness that I got from some dickhead on eBay. Um, this is a very beat up master lock that uh, probably looked like this at one time until someone took the shackle off and let it rust and decay and God knows what. Um, but uh, I'm going to pick it open and then um, maybe see if I can gut it. So I think I see a screw there that I can't quite get to with the ball bearings open. So let's see, is that going to, that's not going to give me enough tension as I drop my my other little tension wrench, but let's try this one. Peterson pry bar for the win. It's just a master lock after all, right? Bogota, insert to the back. Wow, it's some mushy, mushy, mushy pins. Look at that. Ah, look at that. A master lock opened with a Bogota in like, I don't know, 12 seconds. That was amazing. Okay. There's the innards of this thing. Let me zoom out so I can stay in frame. You can see there's no shackle. What I'm going to do is take this shackle, which fits it, put it in backwards on this side. Well, should fit it. Maybe not. Uh, well, what hold? No, it's not key retaining. Oh, yes, it is. Good. So. Hold that in there, and uh, let's see, get it where you can see it, maybe. And there's a little Allen head screw down in there. So, there we go. The impressive array of shit falling out of my thing here. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, helps if you go the right direction. There we go. Ooh, I feel something happening. The screw is loosening. We will see what horrors lie inside this poor master lock. Normally don't have much sympathy for these things, but this one has obviously been abused and had its shackle. I don't know, put in a plastic bag at best. This is not its shackle, but we'll see. All right, so get that out of the way, make some room here, zoom out. Okay, so what we have is a lock that looks like this. I've actually never seen this type of master lock before. Um, it's probably pretty old. Um, so we have a lock that would look like this, except I've got this other shackle just sort of holding the ball bearing in. Um, now that I'm removing this part, which is sort of the removable core, I should be able to let that go and nothing bad will happen. So I loosened an Allen screw that came out. You can see inside here, it's actually kind of interesting. If we come over here where there's light and zoom in a little bit. And a little more. There we go, look at that. So you can see the inside there, that mechanism. Well, I don't know. That's different than what I've seen before. Um, but sort of your standard cam thing. It is a double ball bearing. There's one, there's two. It's got a spring. Um, interestingly, the the locking element on this side, you can, see if you, can tell, you can see it does go in, but it only goes like this far, right? So, you know, maybe why they gave this design up. It's not probably not as strong. You don't have a lot of material down in there. And then the rest of this thing looks like this. Zoom out a little bit, focus, and bring the exposure back down. There we go. And so there is a master core in here. There we go. This one has, wait for it, wait for it. This one does not have a removable circlip, it looks like. This is a five pin cylinder, allegedly. Um, if I zoom in and focus, you can see probably right there, there's a little crimp mark. So 
guys that are complaining about the shit American cores that they've been putting out, they're just copying their own pattern from God knows how old this thing is, but I don't see a date stamp on it anywhere, but just based on the design, I'm going to say maybe the 70s or 60s, but I'm sure one of you guys knows. Um, so there's the lock core, five pins, no securities that I could tell, um, and a whole lot of dirt. So we've got the core, we've got the pin, we've got the or screw, we got the that thing, we got the lock body, and there would be a shackle in here somewhere. Probably not this one, but you know, something like that. And uh, that would go in there and everything would be copacetic. So, um, interesting design. I've never seen one like this before. If one of you wants one of these, um, I've got, well, at least two of them. Um, and uh, so, oh, these things come out too. It's kind of neat. These might actually be made out of steel. Wow, crikey. Anyhow, this is Alex. Um, yeah, have fun, keep it legal. And uh, be careful what you buy off of eBay. Cheers.